There's every chance she's just started going to the gym and got some newbie gains. And that was enough for her to make the transformation difference for us to go, wow, Natalie Thortman. Natalie Thortman. I just came out. I'm going with it. Natalie Thortman. Simon of the Board A-Hole here. Thank you for joining me as always. And if you have frequent the internet, you will have noticed everybody's going nuts for Natalie Portman because the Thor 4 trailer came out and she all jacked. So here's a picture that everybody went crazy about. It features at the end of the trailer, if you don't know. I don't think it's spoilers. I don't think it's spoilers either to talk about the fact that she's basically the new Thor because that not only has been in the trailers, obviously, but people have been talking about it for ages. I mean, I don't think it should be massively surprising because, of course, Natalie Portman got in crazy shape for Black Swan. If you don't know about that, absolutely go and read about it. She lost a ton of weight and basically I think went through like three months of ballerina training to understand the kind of grueling thing that they go through. And as a complete aside, obviously, I'm well into pro wrestling. You should know this by now. I'm sure you do. If you're not, you don't have to. Who cares? But some people go like it's um, it's not ballet, right? They say that. And I'm always like, man, you shouldn't you shouldn't say that. Have you seen? You've seen what ballerinas go through. It's absolutely crazy. Like, just Google, not work, SFW, whatever the hell it is. Just go Google a ballerina's feet. My gosh, the sheer agony they must be in. But anyway, this is the picture that people are going crazy about. And it's mostly her arm. Obviously, she's in a superhero suit, so we can't see much else. But yeah, I mean, Natalie Portman, I presume, if you just went up to somebody in the street that had a very base knowledge of it, would go, yeah, she's just got like a thin body or something. I don't know. Or she's quite slight or petite, I'm supposing you're saying. But here, you can absolutely see that deltoid. You can see that cap right there. You can see her tricep. You can see her bicep. You can see that she's absolutely put in the time and the effort, which seems to be just the thing when it comes to Thor. If you star in the Thor movies and someone tells you that you're going to be Thor, you better get in the best shape possible. Otherwise, nobody is going to, uh, well, they're going to take you seriously, I suppose. Now, Portman has spoken about her intense training regime for the tech. I can never pronounce his name. The Taka Watiti directed Blossbuster. I'm reading this from this article. Even admitting she struggled with the gnarly workouts required of her in the wake of the pandemic. And this is uh, about a year or so ago. She was on The Tonight Show. And she says, I don't know if people understand the training that goes into these movies. Are you doing these crazy workouts and stuff? You are doing these crazy workouts and stuff. And able to keep a straight face, Portman, who was filming the movie in Australia at the time, replied, I am trying. I've just picked up Fallon said the first bit and she said the second bit. I had months of training, eating baked goods and laying in bed and feeling sorry for myself. I'm super tired after working out and drawing and I'm dreading before. And uh, she also did a YouTube video. Sorry, her trainer also did a YouTube video where basically, surprise, surprise, he put it down to compound movements, weightlifting movements, such as squatting, pressing and pulling. And in order for her to remain lean for the role, she will be doing high intensity training. So when the movie comes out, which I believe is July, there will be a ton, there'll be Chris Hemsworth ones, there will be whoever, Christian Bale's in that movie, I bet he's probably got jacked up too because everyone has to get jacked. But her main thing is running. She's talked about this a lot. She's big into running. She kind of uses it as meditation, I believe she said. So she'll go for 60 minute runs in order to keep her lean physique. And obviously for Thor, what she's done is she's got a personal trainer and she's just eaten chickly, chicken, rock, broccoli and rice. Of course she hasn't done that. But she has gone down. I, I totally believe you would go to compound movements. Like if you're using somebody who is quite slight, the best thing to do when it comes to the gym, I mean, isolation exercises are good too because obviously you're going to hit a specific muscle group. But if you get them doing bench press, squats, deadlifts, military presses, not only are you going to be working chest, shoulders, back, legs, but you get all your stabilizer muscles uh, kicking into gear as well. So example, on a bench press, you're not just working your bench. I'm sure you know this. Your delts are going to kick into play. Your triceps are going to kick into play. So when you are working on a tight deadline, it is the best way to build muscle. I'm not going to say in the quickest way because that depends on your genetics and your training and your rest and anything else you may be doing, but it's certainly a good way to uh, use that time when you go to the fitness palace of love. Now, the next question as ever is going to be, well, did she go on some we will call magic sauce? I don't know. I always talk about this. I think the best way anybody has ever put it, I believe it was Greg Doucette that said it, is if there was millions of dollars on the line and you knew you had this hard day where you had to look a certain way and you had a bunch of health and medical professionals around you and you had access to the special source, why would you say no? Because let's face it, let's be honest with ourselves. The reason, myself included... Uh, we don't do it is because we worry about our health. I can only imagine that's the number one reason people don't do it. So if somebody said to you and they meant it because they were a doctor or whatever, hey, you can take this. We're going to basically push you to the top of normal levels when it comes to your hormones, etc. And you're going to get in phenomenal shape, but we'll keep an eye on you. So there are no health detriments. 
Why the hell wouldn't you do it? I would do it. I would jump on it. I just don't want to have a heart attack and die because who wants to look big in a box? I will look as big as I possibly can walking around planet Earth. So there's every chance she did do something, but there are far smarter and far more educated people than me out there. Also, do not forget too, this is probably the most important part of this, you only see her for, what, three, four seconds in the trailer. I'll try and make sure I put the actual amount of time in the video so you can see it for yourself. This is going to have been shot very specifically for this scene. So I bet she's done a bunch of press-ups. I bet she's done a bunch of pump-up exercises. She's going to be well-lit. Maybe she did the crazy Henry Cavill stuff where he pretends not to have drunk for 78 years, even though there's no reason to do that. But the point is, she will put herself in the optimum way possible so she looks as good as possible because they're trying to sell you a movie. I just saw down here, 8th of july 2022 comes out but yet they want to sell you a movie so if you see natalie portman looking all jacked and think wow she's a new thor if that's enough to send you over the line then the trailer absolutely did its job so always take that with a pinch of salt because again it's it's like everything you see on instagram i don't want to get too too off track here but it is like everything you see on instagram instagram you come across these influencers these fitness guys who look absolutely incredible but i bet if you just pulled that camera back a little bit you would see a ton of people going to work in order to make it look like this if you took a picture of them on a phone when they just walk out but work out uh, got out of bed of course, they'd still look good and amazing. I'm not saying they're not putting in the work. I'm not saying they're not putting in the time. They absolutely are. But they wouldn't be presented in the same way that they're deliberately presenting themselves to you. And the best way to always deal with this is not even worry about it. Don't worry about the actors. Don't worry about the influencers. Don't worry about me. Remember that going to the gym and getting in shape is a competition with yourself. And as long as you're outdoing what you did yesterday and you're outdoing what you did last week and last year and all of those kind of metrics and statistics, then you're absolutely on the right track. I also found an interview that Portman had done with Vanity Fair in 2021. And this will always make you laugh because she mentioned that she was vegan which is good to know yes if you're a vegan you can still go to the gym and get see muscle uh increases whatever you want to call it get your gains and she basically mentioned that she upped her protein and drank a lot of protein shakes which i love some people think there's always going to be some secret answers that they're not but she said we did a lot of weight training a lot of protein shakes heavyweight training that i've never done before of course i never really aimed to get bulky remember that it was very physical so it was a lot of both agility work and also strength work portman said she has worked with a trainer for four months prior to shooting as well as during filming since muscles take time to build it's a myth that weightlifting makes women bulky overnight so i'm just reading this from their website women who are just beginning to strength chain can expect to gain about a pound of muscle per month in the first year what even if you're looking for a lean toned look nobody is toned you're not a printer lifting heavy helps build muscle to make that happen blah 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 wow i mean that's just gone completely off the rails all right let's just talk about this for a second yes there is this worry not just from women what stupid thing to say from men as well they'll say oh i don't want to lift weights because i don't want to get bulky and turn into arnold schwarzenegger if only that was true i would be huge right now because i've lifted and tried to bulk my entire life it all depends on your genetic predisposition right some people are going to lift weights in a few weeks just look absolutely massive that's just what happens and we hate these people most people i don't get this whole where's it gone most women can expect to gain about a pound of muscle per month in the first year. I mean, that's absolutely gibberish. That depends on so many factors. Ignore that, women. <laughs> Don't worry about it. But obviously, men are able to uh, you know, gain muscle easier compared to women due to their chemical makeup. But if you are a female, you are still able to follow the exact same plan in order to get muscle. There'll be a few differences, but these are very, 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 very minor things. So as ever, she had four months to work out. She lifted heavy. She ate a bunch of protein. And again, maybe some other things happened. We don't know. We'll have to see her in the movie. There's every chance she's just started going to the gym and got some newbie gains. And that was enough for her to make the transformation difference for us to go, wow, Natalie Thortman. Natalie Thortman just came out. I'm going with it. Natalie Thortman looks like you know she could play the role because this is what we did when we talked about uh, robert pattinson on the batman movie when apparently he was all trolling us and more power to him he said he wasn't going to work out and actually when you watch the film he clearly got in shape but ever since this has become a thing in hollywood you wouldn't even compare his physique to well a chris hemsworth or a chris evans as captain america he just looked like a young Bruce Wayne that maybe went running every now and then. So maybe we are shifting across to, uh, to a different gear. But ultimately, it's the performance. I mean, if you are a Superman, a Thor, a Captain America, or a Thanos, you probably need to be super duper jacked. But uh, who played Thanos? I can't remember his name now. I can see his face. Josh Brolin. Josh Brolin got away with that because that was all CG. <laughs> 
So that's that's maybe the way to do it. I would do that. That's an interesting question. Right, here we go. This is what I'll leave you with, and I want you to post in the comments your answer. Somebody somehow can CG you constantly, right? So you're walking around your life, and you are basically being I kind of projected in computer graphics the entire time. But it's no, it's no stress on you, and nobody can see it happening. But every single other person on the planet looks at you and thinks you're as big as Thanos or whatever the hell your dream physique would be. Would you take it? And would you still keep going to the gym? That's very interesting, I think. I certainly would. I would take both. I would keep going to the gym and I would keep trying to um, increase my own muscle mass, but I would take the, <laughs> take the CG as well. I don't know how we got here. The point is, everybody was talking about Natalie Portman, so I wanted to throw my two cents in there. I'm very excited about the uh, the film. I think the trailer looks great. I was going to react to it, but then life went life and I wasn't able to, but I do intend to do more of that going down the line. Don't know why I told you that, but I did. That's it. Now, please do like the video, share the video, and subscribe to the bell, ding, ding, so other videos are going live. There will be another video on the screen. Please do give it a click. Autogrillamind.com, for us, Simon. Use code Simon, get 10% off all of those supplements. I use them. I think they are very, very good. You may disagree. There's only one way to find out. In Greg Doucette's Power 13 book on Instagram and Twitter at Simon316. My DMs are open. Send me things like this or reaction videos or other things that I can look at because I enjoy it. Also, Patreon.com, for us, Simon316. If you want to support me that way, Simon.BigCartel.com. Also on Cameo, if you want some kind of a shout out. I like to think I'm quite cheap. Once again, you may disagree, but look and find out. Otherwise, take care. Have the best training session of your life. See you soon.